Hey, 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 Leo. This is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, uh, January 19th to the 20th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Leo, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Alrighty, let's see what's going on for Leo. I'm going to get a channeled message in just one moment. But first, there's Tarot, Knight of Wands here. Fire energy, temperance, more fire. Well, fire and water, Sagittarius. The Magician. And the King of Cups. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. All right, Leah, let's see what Spirit has for you today. Mm, taming the beast within is what you'll be doing, Leo. There is going to be a lot of fiery buildup within you. Some of you are going to need to pull back this energy. It's very powerful energy that's going to come up within you. It can be explosive if you let it. Seed your thoughts, Leo. Place this energy into ideas, into ideas that you've had that you wish to implement. Use this energy, it's powerful energy, Leo, to seed these thoughts. <sighs> these seeds will become very potent. Their growth will be potent. The rate at which they will grow will surprise you. So if you find yourself in the place of needing to tame the beast within, so to speak, Leo, Instead of taming the beast, direct the beast. Direct the energy towards something you wish to germinate. Okay, thank you. Ooh, I feel like, Leo, with that, I feel like you almost, like, got a magical power. Um with this energy, which is interesting because Aries had like a buildup of energy um, differently than you, but it's almost like I'm feeling a, um, a magical power. So yeah, I wouldn't waste that. I wouldn't waste that. There's a lot of energy in that. Um, whatever you're, you're going to be harnessing, that energy is going to be very fruitful for, for things around you. Okay. All right. So let's see, Leo. Yeah, you're going to be feeling very youthful, very energetic. Your sexual drive is going to increase tremendously. Just an FYI to be aware. See, and that's why... 
<laughs> this is your attempt. This is interesting at taming the beast here with the temperance below the knight of wands. How interesting is that? Temperance is about balancing. Temperance is about healing, Sagittarius energy. But it's also about alchemizing, right? Creation. And you've got that in the magician here. That's what I mean about power. You're like a powerhouse of magic right now, Leo. Seriously, that's what I'm feeling. Don't believe me. Test it out, Leo. You'll see. What's going on? Oh, you may be trying. Are you trying to manifest love? Let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. Knight of Pentacles. One more. The Ten of Wands. Okay, you will be putting some of this energy towards your work. But some of you, uh, Leos, may find that you're not sure if you want to play the field or commit to somebody. I feel like for some of you, there's somebody that you're seeing. This could be an Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. But that's what I'm feeling. So this may feel a little bit burdensome to you. Why does it feel? Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Yeah, because you have a lot of passion towards this individual with the Eight of Wands. How does this person feel about Leo? Let's see. Oh, Nine of Cups. They feel like you're their wish fulfillment. What's holding you back from committing? You may have a choice here. Two of Wands. If you don't have anybody in your life right now, this is what's up and coming. Tell me about temperance so you will have a choice to make. Well, this could be not only a choice between two people, but it could be a, a, just a choice to go it alone or go it with somebody else, right? So we have the death card here, Scorpionic Energy. Three of Pentacles. The Hermits. Okay. You've got to be careful with this energy I'm feeling over here. Especially if you're involved already. Just, just be careful. Know that it's powerful. That's all I say. Um, so you're really focused on creative ideas as, as it pertains to work, right? You're also thinking about building something with this relationship. You're not sure to end it or to transform it into something else. What does this person want? Do they want to commit? Yeah, Queen of Cups. Look at that. you got the King of Cups over here. Divine counterparts. Their intuition, I'm feeling, is telling them that you are the one. Tell me about the Magician. What do you want to manifest here? Ah, Six of Cups. Is this somebody from the past? If it's not, it's still a past life soulmate. For some of you, it's somebody from the past you're wanting to manifest back in your life. Queen of Wands. Hmm. For some of you, you're wanting somebody to see an offer that you may have given them. Maybe you feel they haven't seen it. Or you're trying to... No, I feel like you're wanting somebody to see an offer. Clarify the four of cups. Yeah, five of wands. It could be somebody maybe that has a lot of people vying for their attention and you're hoping that they see your offer. Now that's separate from this going on. So I don't know if it's that other road here. Maybe there's, there's for some of you, some you're, 
keeping hope alive for a past person to come back. It's not for all of you because I do feel that some of you are just trying to decide whether to go it alone or not. There is a huge attraction here. And again, your sexual drive is through the roof. Tell me about this King of Cups. Four of Swords. Ah, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are healing over a past love. It could have been a marriage. Princess of Swords here. So I feel like you're trying to utilize your intuition when it comes to this person, whether or not you should commit, whether or not you should go it alone for a while. Um, you, I do like the fact that you are listening to your intuition, that you are making sure that you're healed. That's why the death card. That's why it's like you want to make sure that that transformation is complete. You don't want to take this energy um, from the past like I said, it could even be a marriage here. It's definitely a long-term relationship and bring it into a new relationship because then you'll be learning the same shit, different day cycle. Yep. It's just same shit, different person. So what is your advice, Leo? The tower. Ooh. The seven of pentacles. The Knight of Cups. The Six of Wands. There you are. Let me see this. Okay, what I'm getting with the Tower is that some things need to be broken in order to be put back together again properly. So I'm not sure... If they, they, they are referring to your past relationship, right? But they're wanting you to think about your investment of time and energy. And they're wanting you to open up your heart just a little bit more. You will, there is victory. They're wanting you also to feel victorious within your heart space here. And to also feel open, I'm getting with this. Like, be open to anything. Don't even think about how it's going to come to you, how it's going to show up, what it's going to look like, how you're, you know, just, just go with it. At the bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands, yeah. A lot of fire in you right now, Leo. A lot of success that you can obtain with this fire. Ha, huh. hope. That's exactly what you're doing here. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. So never lose hope here. Okay? All right, Leo, you got a lot to look forward to. A lot of decisions, yes, but a lot to look forward to and a lot of growth in many ways. So I hope this resonated, Leo. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Leo, I hope this resonated. You have yourself a fantastic day, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the Daily Namaste.